One of my income streams is from stores on print-on-demand websites like TeePublic, Zazzle, and Redbubble. Because it generates a very low income, a few dollars each month, but it is a passive income, I use automation to help me upload products to all the websites and save time. In the past, I used Flying Upload Automation, which is still a very good tool that I recommend if you want to upload to all of your stores. However, I found another tool that helps me automate everything in my content creation business. And in this video, I want to share how to build automation on this tool on TeePublic. The tool is called Task Magic and it is an automation builder. You can customize the automation to do exactly what you want by recording your screen while creating the automation. So you don't need to code. It is a more advanced tool because you can do many things with it. You can do much more things with it. You can do whatever you imagine, such as updating your product, not just uploading them and other automation. When you start creating automation, you need to understand what leads to what. It's important to know which steps to take before and after each action. In this example, I created the automation of uploading designs on products so I can sell them on my store. Before automating the process, you need to do it manually to know what to press before or after each step. Luckily, you're watching this video and I will show you everything. When you upload a design to print on demand website, you need four things ready. First is the design. You need to have a PNG file with a clear background. I use Canva Pro and download my design with a clear background. You also need to know if this design is good for a black background or a white background. This is important because you will set this when creating the automation. For each color, you need separate automation. The other three things you need are the title, description, and tags for the product. In the case of TeePublic, you also need a main tag. All of this information should be ready in a Google Sheet so you can use it in the automation. You can create a Google Sheet however you like, but this is how I do it. I organize all the design in one folder on my computer, and then I click Ctrl A to select everything, followed by Ctrl Shift and C to copy the path for the design so I can put it in the Google Sheets for later uploading. In a clean Google Sheet, I free the first row and give the first column a name. It could be whatever you like. I call it a source. When I create the automation, I know what to put in the uploading step. Then I create a title, description, and tags for all of the designs. Because I make very similar design with small differences, I can use some shortcuts when I create them. When I create design, I name each one based on the content. That way I can tell exactly what the design is just from the file name. I create a list of all of the names, whether it's a number, name, or another personalized identifier. To add things to the main name of the product using a formula in Google Sheets, you start with the equal sign. After that, add brackets and include the free text you want all the design to have. When you want to use variable text or number, close a bracket and then add end symbol and specify the cell from the Google Sheet between the symbols. You can then open another bracket and add more text, making sure to add spaces so that it doesn't appear as one word with a variable cell. Then I copy this formula completely from the entire column and do the same for the description and tags. Remember to also add a column for the main tag for TeePublic. Now you have the Google Sheets ready. By the way, this is also how you create the spreadsheet for flying upload. After you have the Google Sheets set up, you need to get the Task Magic software so you can use it to automatically upload everything. You can get it using the affiliate link in the description. They have three tiers. If you want to record the automation, you'll need the $49 dollar per month option. And this is the only option that allows you to record your steps on the website and type things. Compared to other automation tools for uploading, it's the same price. But with Task Magic, you can do much more than just uploading the product. So I think it's worth it. Though it is more complicated and advanced compared to using a tool like Flying Uploads. After you download and install it on your computer, go to the side menu, navigate to workspaces and create a workspace for print on demand. Or you can create one specifically for TeePublic if you are going to create separate flow for black and white designs. In the workspace, you need to create a new automation. Next, click on web because you are going to record the web. 
Click on it and give the automation a name. Next, you need to add the cookies. Click on advanced setting in the specific automation for T public and then click on manage cookies. Here you need to add the cookies. To add a cookie, you can use a Chrome extension that gives you the cookie of the website, allowing it to remember your login details. So when you open the website, you will be inside your store account. After you add the cookie extension, you have the link in the description. You open T public and log in. Now click on the cookie icon at the top and then click on the arrow. It will copy the cookie code. Go back to TaskMagic and click on Add Cookie. You will see the name of the website and that's okay. Now you can start recording the automation. Click on Trigger at the top of the automation and then click on List. This is for the Google Sheets you created. Click on Use Lists from a Google Sheet and then on Setup Sheet Connection. Here you have an email you need to copy and share the Google Sheet with so it will be able to read the text. Then copy the Google Sheets URL and paste it here. Select the sheet where the list of the product is. If you have only one sheet, you don't need to select it. Wait for it to recognize the information and then click on looks good. You have the option to loop the same process of uploading the designs a few times. Select how many times you want the loop to continue. I suggest doing it every 5 to 15 minutes. You can also use the turn on time option. I suggest doing it for every 5 to 15 minutes while you upload every time to designs. You Remember though that TeePublic only allows 25 uploads per 24 hours, so make sure it won't be more than that. My next row field, write to to start, or you can change it based on the row you want the Google Sheets to process for you. Click continue and you will return to the main page of the automation. Now click on add step and then on record web. This will open two windows. One is recording control panel and the other is Chromium Brother where you will record the steps. In the panel, you have the first step, which is to add the TeePublic website URL. And a side note, add everything as I show you in this tutorial because this is the optimal way to go through all of the automation without getting errors. I have uploaded a lot of products to TeePublic with this automation. If you are not logged into the website with a Chromium profile, then go back and do it again. You should be logged in in order to record this automation. In the panel, you now have some steps you can use to record specific tasks you want the automation to follow. Find the click step and click on Upload Art in the Chromium. Find the button to confirm the step. And now you have recorded your first step. While you record steps, it does not always do it while you click on the Chromium. So if you want to see if a step is working, you can press the play button next to the step and see if it performs it. Now you are on the upload page. TeePublic makes it very easy to upload products. And this is why this automation is very simple compared to other POD websites. Record a click on the upload button like we did before. For now, continue recording the process by uploading something from your computer so it has a design. You don't need to record this step and you need to delete it if it's recorded. Make sure it is in the right dimensions. If you want to have the design on all of the products, I use a design that is good for all of my stores. The optimal design is 4500 by 5400 pixels. This is a standard for POD website, although here you can upload bigger design. Now that you have something uploaded, click on the three dots and find change step type and click on it. Find in the list of the steps, the upload step. Then click on the content of this step so you can change it, the variable to the source column you had in the Google Sheets. So it will upload the correct product from your computer. Let's go to the next step, which is to delay for two minutes. This is important because you need to have the design uploaded before continuing the process. Click on the delay button and write two minutes. Next, add a scroll down option. This is important because you want the entire page to load. Scroll for five seconds, which is enough. Now click on the title so it will start writing. Choose type to type the product title, which we will create later. Write something and confirm. Click yes on the variable because it will be different text for each design and we're going to change it later. Add a click step on describe your design and again use type to write something. It doesn't matter what. I usually write description at this stage so I know I will change it later to the description from the upload file. Add another delay of 0.1 minutes, about 6 seconds. This 
is important to give the automation time to finish tasks before moving forward. Add a click step for the main tag and type one tag. On T Public, you have the option to add tags that help product get noticed. Write something here and click yes for variable. Then add a step of key press. This is important because it does not work well without this step. Click enter on your keyboard and confirm the steps. For the other type, do the same as we did for the single tag. Click, type, and then add key press enter steps go over all of the variable that you need to take from the Google Sheets and change them. If you name them properly, it will be easier to find the right cell for each specific step. Click on the step content and delete the text you wrote when you upload the example design. By the way, you can delete the design from this public that you uploaded and published when you recorded the automation if it wasn't meant to be real. Then click on the variable and find the one you want to replace with the demo text. Go over all of the steps that need to be changed, like title, description, and tags. Record the step of clicking on mature content, yes or no, so they know what kind of design you are. Upload. Next, scroll down. There is no need to record the scrolling. Record the step of clicking on the first design. Then another step on clicking it again to enable it because it's going to disable. Click on select default color and choose the main color of, for the design. I choose black because black designs sell better. Do the same for the baseball tee. Click on the baseball tee, then click again to enable it and choose the color. You need to specify for this one. All of the other designs are followed by the first one, but the baseball tee, you need to choose specific color. Scroll down again, there is no need to record it, and click on the box for terms. Record the steps of clicking publish and add a delay of one minute. Click on the green button on the panel, I'm done, to save all the steps. A few tips before we record the trigger. If you need to close the panel for some reason, you can start from where you stopped. Click on the plus button where you stopped and find the record web option. Now click on the play button next to all the steps so it will start them and continue recording. Now you see that you have a loop line at the top of the automation. Make sure it is looping from the step of uploading art to the end of the automation. The number of times it will loop is based on what you set in the previous step of connecting the Google Sheet. The last step is to see that everything is working. Change the Google Sheet loop to one, so you won't need to wait if you have any problems that you need to fix. Then click on play steps and watch it work for you. If you follow all of the steps I wrote for you, all the delays and an extra steps, this should work. If it's not, you should go back and see why it's not working. If everything is run smoothly, you can change the number of loops in the Google Sheets trigger and click on turn on on the right side to start the automation. It will run in the background, but I found that it is better if I see the window because it gets stuck a few times. If you want to see the Chromium window, click on the side in the automation setting then screen setting and click on always show brother when running. That's it. You have automation for public. You can do something similar for other websites. Any website where you can upload products, you can have automation. It's not only print-on-demand websites. The options are endless. You can try Task Magic. The link is in the description. Subscribe and like, and I will see you in the next video.